hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be looking at basic trigonometric identities and then how to use these basic identities to prove trigonometric equations so without further ado let's get started so the first of the trigonometric identities that we want to look at is the equation given to us by cos, cos squared theta plus what sine squared theta is equal to one sine squared theta is equal to one so this is the first trigonometric identity we want to look at so equation number one now uh from this same equation number one you can make uh either cos square theta the subject or sine square theta the subject and you can get uh another derivative from this uh identity so we can get cos square theta in case we make that a subject to be one minus what sine square theta okay or the reverse is also uh, possible we can have what sine square theta to be equal to what one minus cos square theta so these three uh, identities are very useful when you want to prove trigonometric identities now the second um, identity that we want to look at is 1 plus what tan square theta tan square theta is equal to what sec square theta okay so this identity is also also very very important uh, we we normally use them when we want to um, we use them in equations uh, to prove uh, certain cases so assuming for instance um, you are to prove that something is equal to something in trigonometry and then you happen to come across tan, tan square theta and you don't know what to do again okay you can uh, just quote this identity and make tan square theta the subject which will give you what sec square theta minus one when you bring the one to the other side uh, so that you substitute c square theta minus one over there as tan square theta and then you, from there you can move on forward and solve your problem now the third and then the final identity that we'll be looking at before we move on to solve any uh, question is what one plus cot square theta is equal to what cosec square theta okay so this is the third identity i want to look at so the third identity is given as what uh, one plus cot square theta is equal to what cosec square theta now these identities like i said earlier on you can just make change of subject you can make cot square uh, theta the subject over here and, and then you get an expression for what cosec square uh, cosec square theta with one um, that is making cos square theta the subject so you can manipulate this to get another equation which is which can also be useful or relevant when you are solving um, trigonometric equations or you have to prove certain cases in trigonometric equation now at this point um, I'm assuming you already have um, an idea of the basic trigonometric identities that we have what I mean by this is sine square what is sine theta what is tan theta what is uh, cot theta and the rest but then just for revision sake let's go through uh, very few of them so when we have cosec theta okay so this identity um, in uh, trigonometry is equal to what one over sine theta so if you have cosec theta you can substitute uh, one over what sine theta for cosec theta now if you have sec theta okay this is equal to what one over cos theta this is another um, identity that uh, or another substitution that can be very useful when we are solving questions or we can have cot theta cot theta is equal to what one over tan theta okay now the tan theta we are having over here tan theta sorry for that background noise tan theta is equal to what sine theta over what cos theta so tan theta is what sine theta over cos theta so if we substitute the whole of this back into this it means this equation will be reversed for us to get cot theta so cot theta will be equal to what cos theta divided by what sine theta for cot theta okay so these identities are also very very useful when we want to solve um, trigonometric uh, equations or we want to prove cases in trigonometry so with this basic introduction to uh, the trigonometric identities let's go ahead to solve um, 
an example to actually appreciate what we are doing so far so the first one we have over here is we have to prove that the the case one over what one minus cos theta plus one over what one plus cos theta is equal to what two cosec square theta okay so let's let's go ahead so let's write proof okay so this is how we are going to prove uh, that one over one minus cos theta plus one over one plus cos theta is equal to what two cosec square theta so the proof just like the way we go ahead and solve any other fraction we first of all find the lcm for this so um th for this part of the equation uh, the lcm will be the product of the two denominators that we have over here so we have one minus cos cos theta then we have one plus what cos theta okay so this will cancel this uh leaving this so one plus cos theta times one will give us what one plus cos theta okay so this will also come here canceling this we have this so this multiplied by one will give us what plus one minus what cos theta okay so if we further break this down we can see that uh the positive cos theta over here will cancel the negative cos theta over here so we have two at the top which is one plus one so we have two divided by if we expand the denominator over here one times one will give us one then one times cos theta will give us what plus cos theta then negative cos theta times one will give us what negative cos theta the negative cos theta times what um a cos theta will give us what negative cos square theta okay so from here we can see that uh the cos theta cos the positive cos theta and then negative cos theta over here will cancel out so we have two over what one minus what cos square theta but then remember we saw one of the identities where we have what cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one and then we said we can make sine square theta the subject which will give us what one minus cos square theta so in this place it means one minus cos square theta we have over here is equal to what sine square theta okay so if we all know where this uh, identity is coming from we can then substitute that in place of one minus cos square theta okay sorry about that background noise so we have two over what um sine square theta okay so two over sine square theta uh can this can also be written as what two times what one over what sine square theta okay but remember i i earlier on said um i show you an identity where i said um let me use another color um where i said um what um cosec theta cosec is equal to what one over sine right okay so if cosec theta is equal to one over sine it means what this is it it, it makes sense if we say what cosec square theta is equal to what one over what sine square theta right so this should make sense so so if this makes sense it means what we have over here can be written as what two then the one over uh sine square theta will be equal to what cosec cosec square theta okay so this is what we were asked to find and then that is what we have over there so this is the first example of how we use the basic trigonometric identities to solve problems in uh, trigonometry so let's have a look at uh, another scenario where we will get to prove something else so example number two we have to prove that cot theta plus sine theta divided by one plus one plus cos theta is equal to what cosec cosec theta so we'll go on ahead and then prove uh this this case so first of all what what we need to do is we need to uh, simplify the cot theta we have over here so uh, the cot theta okay can be written as what uh cos theta cos theta divided by what sine theta okay then plus what we have over here which is um sine theta over one plus what cos theta so if this holds true then we then just find the lcm from here 
which will be what sine theta okay then one plus what cos theta then sine theta will come here we we'll cancel this we are left with this so uh, we have uh, this multiplying this so we have cos theta into bracket one plus cos theta okay then we have this coming here to cancel this then sine theta times sine theta we get plus sine squared theta okay so from there you can just expand the bracket that we have to, to simplify things so if we expand this we are going to get cos theta plus what cos square theta then plus sine square theta all over what are the denominator which is sine theta then one plus what cos theta okay so um from here we can we can see that we have cos square theta sine square theta which is equal to one from the identity the first identity that we saw that what sine square theta is equal um plus sorry plus cos square theta is equal to one so in place of everything over here we are going to put one over there so it means from here moving forward we have what cos theta plus one divided by what sine theta into bracket one plus what cos theta now we can see that you have uh, one plus cos theta one plus cos theta at the top over here okay so this will cancel this so in the end we are having one over what sine theta and then one over sine theta is what cosec cosec theta okay so this is how um <laughs> or uh, finally we've been able to prove that what cos theta plus sine theta divided by what one over cos theta is equal to what cosec theta so I, I will want us to have a look at one more example let's prove one more case and then we we end the tutorial now the last one i uh, want to prove in this case is cot a minus one divided by cot a cot a plus one is equal to what one minus tan a all over what one plus tan a so this is uh, what we have to prove. We have to prove that this side is equal to this side. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is what? To write the cot A minus, um, minus 1 in its simplest form as much as possible so that we know we are coming, we are going to get tan A in the process. So we know cot is what? 1 over tan. So the cot A we have over here is equal to what? 1 over tan A. Than a for the cut over here then minus one divided by what another one over tan a for this side then plus one okay all right so from here we can uh let's solve the top one and then the bottom one separately so we let me just make this like this so the top one the else this will be divided by one this also divided by one so we have tan a as the lcm then the bigger bracket which is this then uh, this one also tan a <laughs> so we have this will go here one one times one is one minus one will come here one uh tan a sorry tan a times one will give us what tan a okay so we are done with the top one so let's come to the bottom one we have tan a tan a will go into tan a one one times one will give us one then plus one will go into tan a tan a tan a times one will give us what tan a okay so from here onwards we can rewrite everything so we have one minus tan a divided by what tan a as the top one then if we want to bring this the denominator to the top because it's division sign we need to reciprocate what we have over here so that we can bring multiplication sign over here okay so because we are bringing multiplication sign over here we need to interchange this so we now have the tan a at the top then divided by one plus what tan a at the bottom okay so we here can cancel this and then at the end we are getting what we are getting this fraction so we are getting this divided by this which is what one minus tan a divided by what one plus tan a which is what we are asked to find in this case hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to look at the proof of what tan 3a we want to prove that tan 3a is equal to 3 tan a minus tan cube a 
all divided by 1 minus 3 times squared a. So let's go ahead. Proof. Tan 3a can be written as what? Tan 2a plus a. Now we know that the expansion of tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b all over 1 minus what tan a tan b so from that expansion we can say tan 3a which is equal to tan 2a plus a can be written as what tan 2a plus tan a all over 1 minus what tan 2a tan a all right let's make this equation one but the tan 2a over here can simply be can further be simplified so we have tan 2a is equal to what we have tan a plus tan a all divided by 1 minus tan a tan a okay so we can say the tan 2a 2a is equal to what 2 tan a because we have plus at the middle over here divided by 1 minus tan a tan squared a this they are multiplying so we now have 1 minus what tan squared a this as equation 2 so if we put equation 2 back into equation 1 we are going to get tan 3a to be equal to in place of tan 2a over here we put this over there so we have 2 tan a for this divided by 1 minus tan squared a okay then plus the tan a all divided by the denominator which is 1 minus tan 2a is what 2 tan a over 1 minus what tan squared a then multiplied by the tan a over here tan a so we can go ahead and simplify what we have so tan 3a is equal to for the numerator the, uh, the lcm is what 1 minus what tan squared a so this will go here 1 multiplied by 2 tan a will give us what 2 tan a plus this has the lcm of 1 it will go here 1 minus what tan squared a multiplied by what we have at the top tan a okay all divided by what we have at the denominator over here now the denominator over here the lcm is what 1 minus what tan squared a so we have 1 minus what tan squared a so we have here is 1 1 will go here 1 minus what tan squared a so we have 1 minus what tan squared a minus remember these are multiplying so we can say the whole of this over here is what 2 tan squared a because this is multiplying this now the lcm over here will go here one one times this will give me what two tan a multiplied by what tan a again which is what we have over here or tan squared a all right all right so from here let's further what simplify what we have so we have tan 3a is equal to then we have at the top 2 tan a okay plus now if we use this to multiply everything in the bracket we are going to get what tan a minus what tan cube a that is this multiplied by this will give us tan a this multiplied by this will give us what tan cube a all divided by what 1 minus tan squared a then the bigger division sign which is this then we have the denominator over here 1 minus what tan squared a then we have 1 minus tan squared a minus this times this will give us what 2 
tan squared a all right so from here let's go ahead and simplify so we have tan 3a is equal to then we have over here we have 2 tan a plus tan a so that will give us what 3 tan a then minus tan cube a all divided by 1 minus what tan squared a then we have the bigger division sign then we have what we have over here which is what 1 minus tan squared a minus 2 tan squared a we can see we have negative tan square a then negative 2 tan square a so that will give us 1 minus what 3 tan squared a all divided by 1 minus tan squared a okay so from here we can see what tan 3a is equal to 3 tan a minus tan cube a all divided by 1 minus tan squared a okay multiplied by what we have at the denominator we will reciprocate it so we have 1 minus what tan squared a over 1 minus 3 tan squared a so this will cancel this then we have tan 3a to be equal to what 3 tan a minus tan cube a all divided by 1 minus 3 tan squared a as required of s as required so we can see at the long run we have tan 3a which is what we have over here to be equal to exactly what the question is asking us to find so this is how we prove tan 3a to be equal to what 3 tan a minus tan cube a all divided by 1 minus 3 tan squared a so hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to look at how to prove the equation we are seeing on the screen so we are to prove that tan square a tan square theta sorry minus sine square theta is equal to sine raised to the power 4 theta sec square theta so let's go ahead and see the proof so let's begin with what tan squared theta minus sine squared theta this is equal to we know tan theta tan theta is equal to what sine theta over what cos theta so which means tan squared theta will be equal to what sine squared theta cos squared theta so this is equal to what sine squared theta over what cos squared theta minus what now another way of representing sine squared theta is we know that what cos squared theta plus what sine squared theta is equal to one so which means one minus what cos squared theta is equal to what sine squared theta so in place of what sine squared theta we can write what one minus what cos squared theta over there so we go ahead and simplify the lcm for this is what cos squared theta this will go here one one times sine squared theta will give us what sine squared theta minus the lcm over here is one one will go here cos squared theta so we have cos squared theta multiplying what we have in the bracket one minus what cos squared theta okay so from here we can see that we can express this whole thing as what sine squared theta minus cos squared theta into bracket one minus cos squared theta multiplied by one over what cos squared theta is still the same okay so it means if we multiply everything here by this we are going to get what we have at the top over here so from here we can see that sine squared theta over here sine squared theta minus what we have cos squared theta into bracket now we know that one minus cos squared theta is what sine squared theta so we have sine squared theta over here 
multiplied by the 1 over what cos squared theta now we have over here we can see that we have what sine squared theta sine squared theta common over here so we factor out what sine squared theta then we will have what 1 minus what cos squared theta so if we expand this we sine squared theta times 1 will give us sine squared theta minus sine squared theta times cos squared theta will give us what cos squared theta sine theta sine squared theta sorry multiplied by 1 over what cos squared theta so we know what sine squared theta we have over here now 1 minus what cos squared theta is sine squared theta again so we write here sine squared theta multiplied by 1 over what cos squared theta so let me use this side now from here we can see that we have sine squared theta multiplied by sine squared theta will give us what sine raised to the power 4 theta multiplied by 1 over what cos squared theta but 1 over what cos squared theta is equal to what sec squared theta so we have what sine is the power 4 theta multiplying what sec squared theta as required of s by the question so this is how we go around proving that tan squared theta minus sine squared theta is equal to this or this is the proof of what tan squared theta minus sine squared theta so thank you so much for watching and then i'll see you in the next video before you leave if you are not yet a subscriber for my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button thank you once again and i'll see you in the next video bye bye